Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing the Conlin versus Gill is on video. As Michael Conlin, the um, former world title challenger, two-time world title challenger, will make his 130 pound debut by taking on British contender, fringe contender, Jordan Gill. Now, before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel up here. Now, this fight is again taking place, well, it's taking place on zone, as Michael Conlon has parted ways with Top Rank. He started his career with Top Rank years ago, about six years ago, and now he's uh, respectfully parted ways with them, you know, and um, gave them a lot of love and respect when he when he announced that uh, he was, you know, he was leaving, and uh, now he's pursuing a new career. So this fight's taking place on the zone on December second, and Conlon's gonna make his debut at 130 pounds. You know, he's lost uh, two of his last, I believe, it might have been his last four or five fights. I think it's last two of his last four fights, um, both by knockout and both title fights. Um, first to Lee Wood in 2022 in a fight that he was ahead on, but it was a. It, it was a all-out action battle from the get, but he was ahead, um, and in the 11th round, he got hurt and put down, and then in the 12th round, Wood knocked him through the ropes, um, stopping him in a fight that Conlon was going to win considerably on the scorecards and become the champion. Um, he went after that and got two quick victories, um, you know, and and figured he had his head right and then in may of this year he took on luis alberto lopez for the ibf title and just couldn't get it going from the get uh, lopez just kind of poured poured it on him from the start um and in the fifth round landed a wicked uppercut that put conlin down and out as um as lopez retained the title so now conlin thinking that um you know maybe that has to do with the weight obviously wants a new a new platform to fight on and he also wants a new weight to fight on what fight at and that's 130 pounds super featherweight in a division that's kind of wide open and conlin has a good enough style if he can take the punches he has a good enough style in my opinion to have some success at 130 pounds there's fights with joe cordina and and zelfa barrett that are all uk battles that would be interesting and um and, you know if he can win and build his way to that then I think Michael Conlon can be an effective fighter at 130 pounds. Um, Jordan Gill, though, is going to be standing in his way, and Conlon cannot overlook this guy. Now, you know, it'd be easy to overlook this guy because, you know, hey, he he's lost two fights in his career. His last, uh, the, the second of those was just last year against Kiko Martinez, who, who dominated him, you know, um, and stopped him in only four rounds. And Kiko... You know, mad respect to Kiko Martinez, but he's not a great fighter anymore, you know, or, or even a good or solid fighter anymore. So if Kiko can knock him out, then Conlon should be able to handle Jordan Gill. So going into this fight, you know, I hope Michael Conlon really is ready to make an impression at 130 pounds and he comes out, doesn't leave his chin exposed. It is an all UK battle because Conlon's from Ireland. Um, and I hope he gets a convincing a decision victory or a stoppage win in his debut at 130. Maybe he'll be a little bit stronger. We just got to wait and see. But I am looking forward to seeing Michael Conlon on December 2nd on the zone from the UK against Jordan Gill. So, um, and for Jordan Gill, he needs to take advantage of this opportunity because it's not given out often, you know, to these this level of fighter where you get an opportunity on a big stage to main event a uh, card and, um, you know, if he if he could come up victorious, um, that could lead to bigger things. So we'll see what happens again. December second, Conlin versus Gill is on. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.